Hey guys, what's up? My name's Goldblade. So this video is going to be about um, USBs and if they are corrupted or you can't access them. Kind of like this. Um, if you plug in the USB and right here it says USB drive E, um, it's pretty much and you can't access it. If you try to access it, it's just going to give you a format thing. Um, I'm not going to format it through that. If you you can format it through that and it might work, um, or if it's just not showing up, or if it's showing multiple different drives or just anything's wrong with your uh, USB this is how you fix it this will delete everything on the USB so you have to be careful about that but what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm going to type if you type in disk management it's going to pop up this right here and this is just um, all the disks that you have on your computer so as you see disk 0 is going to be my actual like computer my hard drive and then disk 1 is going to be that uh, the E drive or that USB. And uh, just to check this, you can take out that uh, USB and refresh the, uh, the thing and just see that it's not there. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, go into... So now, now that this is here, we can see that we're going to open a CMD. So if you type uh, the Windows key in R and then you type in CMD, it's going to open a command shell. And what you're going to want to type is you're going to want to type disk part. And that's going to, and then you're going to want to yes, click yes. There we go. And that might open a new one for you. Um, it did for me. So I'm just going to um, leave this open. And then what you want to do is you want to type in select, or you're going to list the disks. So these are the disks that are showing up in here. So I'm just going to leave this open on the side as we work on this. So, what I'm going to do is, I know for a fact disk 1 is my drive that's um, my USB drive, so if I unplug it, there you go, I, you saw I unplugged it, and if I list 0, there, there's no disk 1, plug it back in, yep, yeah. okay, there we go, now it plugged in, there we go, so, as you see disk 1 is now on here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, whoops, select, disk one and this just has to be in capitals okay now I'm going to list it just to make sure so as you see there's that little asterisk saying that we have it selected so now we can list partition and this will show you all the partitions on the drive so right now I only have one um, if you have more than one you can uh, type this command so what we're gonna want to do is we're going to type clean and if you have more than one partition, so if there's more than one in here, you're going to type clean all. But since I only have one, I'm just going to type uh, clean. It just makes it so it does it for everything. I'm just going to type clean. There we go. It successfully cleaned it. Now you see it's unallocated. So after we clean that, what we're actually going to want to do is we're going to try to, we're going to make another partition. So we're going to create, I think we can create partition primary there we go now it created a primary par primary partition that we're going to be using and then we're going to select that partition so if I list those again and then it's already selected as you see there so we're just going to type active mark the current current one as active that means that it will mount to the computer and after it's active we're going to type in format and then FS equals FAT32 if you're using a Windows computer, meaning FAT32 is the, um, the type of partition you want. So um, for Windows computers, they use FAT32. So we're just going to do that. And then we're going to do quick. And we're going to run this. And this is going to format the drive to that. If you do not type in quick, it will take a really long time because I have tested it. And it takes a lot longer if you don't type quick. So I really suggest using that. So I'm just going to click enter and wait for this to finish up. And then once this is finished, you'll be able to access the drive. So I'm just going to let this run and I'm just going to let this run and then I'll be right back. Oh, actually, there we go. It just uh, finished formatting. Literally, I didn't even stop the video. So 100% complete, selected, for correctly formatted. So as we see over here, it's a 32, 30 uh, gigabyte drive. FAT32 um, formatted, healthy, active, primary. So now if I go back 
I can go to my screen and you can actually see that I can access this now and there's nothing in it. So, yep, I just fixed that USB drive and this will work for any USB that has been corrupted or um, that hasn't been physically damaged that you can um, like physically see in the uh, the device manager. So if it as long as it shows up in device management, it will um, it will work. So sometimes it won't even show up in your um, in your this PC area where you see all your drives. Sometimes it won't show up. You can actually change that too if you go into disk manager. You can change the drive letter, and I can actually remove this. So if I click yes, see sometimes it will look like this, and then you can't see the drive. So if if you can't see the drive on your computer and you just like and you think it's working what you can do is you can go to disk management and then you can right click you can change the drive letter I'm just gonna make it E so assign assign to drive letter E click OK and then it's going to load so that's going to make it drive letter E so as you see I can actually access it since you can see the uh, memory bar if if you go into the manage disk management and you make it drive a drive letter and it's still not showing this and it shows what it did before then you you might have to do what I uh, have done to reformat it and re uh, clean the disk so yep that's how you format and get rid of stuff on your disk and to use it again so yeah if you guys um, found this video helpful or if you um, would like to see any of my other videos Leave a like down below and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys in another video. Okay, bye.